In this question, we have a wooden block that is floating in fresh water, and a portion of that wooden block is submerged within that fluid, within the water. We've labeled the volume of the block that is actually submerged V sub S, and we've colored that in yellow. Now, because it's floating, we know that the downward acting gravitational force, F sub G, would be balanced by an upward buoyant force of equal magnitude. So in other words, the buoyant force, F sub B, is going to equal the gravitational force, F sub G. Now the buoyant force has a very special expression. What you do is you take the density of the fluid and you multiply that by the volume of the submerged portion of the object, which again we've labeled V sub S, and then you multiply that by G. Now the gravitational force, we all know that that's just mass times G, but let's not forget that mass can be substituted with the density of the wood multiplied by the volume of the wood, and then that would be multiplied by G. So this is our setup here for part A. We'll notice that the gravitational constant appears on both sides, so you can divide both sides by G and cancel that out. Now, we were told in part A that two-thirds of the wooden block's volume is submerged. So what that means is that our V sub S is equal to two-thirds multiplied by the volume of the wooden block. So this V sub S right here, we will make a little substitution. We're gonna plug in two-thirds multiplied by the volume of that entire wooden block. And now if you look carefully, you should see another term that can cancel out on both sides. It's this V sub W. You can divide that out. And now we are in business. We're trying to calculate the volume, excuse me, we're trying to calculate the density of the wooden block. And we can now see that it's just, it's just going to equal the density of the fluid multiplied by two thirds. That will give us the density of the wooden block. Now, this block in part A was floating in water. We know that the density of water is 1000 kilograms per meter cubed. So basically, you're just going to multiply that by two thirds. That's going to give you the density of the wooden block. So we end up with about 667 kilograms per meter cubed. That is indeed the density of the wooden block. This is the correct answer to part A. Now part B is quite similar, except now the block is floating in oil. So you're still going to have the buoyant force magnitude equal to the gravitational force magnitude. Remember with buoyant force, you can replace that with the density of the fluid multiplied by the volume of the submerged portion of the block and then multiplied by G. And then over here we have the density of the wooden block multiplied by the volume of the wooden block, and that's multiplied by G. Just like before, you can cancel out the Gs. Now we were told that the submerged volume was 0.9 multiplied by the volume of the block. So in other words, this V sub S, we're going to substitute 0.9 multiplied by the volume of the wooden block. Basically 90% of the volume is submerged within the fluid. Over here we have the density of the wooden block multiplied by the volume of the wooden block. The volume of the wooden block once again cancels out. So you have the density of the fluid, or in this case the density of the oil. This is going to equal the density of the wooden block divided by 0.9. Now remember, we found the density of the wooden block in part A, so all we need to do is substitute that 667 kilograms per meter cubed and then divide that by 0.9. And when we do that, we get about 741. That's gonna be the density of the fluid or the density of the oil, and therefore it is the correct answer to part B. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it. But of course, please do not feel obligated.